Hey folks, it's uh, Valerie Rayify here with something us uh, different from my usual pontification. Uh, this one's a bit of a call to action. So, this year the Michigan Women's Music Festival was sparsely attended, comparatively. They only had about 3,000 to 3,500, down from their roughly 6,000 last year, and 6,000 are the numbers that Fest used to hit in their glory days. And though one could explain by saying this isn't an anniversary year, I think maybe there's something more. I mean, frankly, it sucks that a good party in the woods has been spoiled for a lot of women who just want to dance, want to spend some time in the woods, but it wasn't spoiled by trans women. There weren't many trans women, if any, on the land. The trans women who were in the area were busy trying to reclaim Camp Trans from the men, who, which originally, if you'll remember, Camp Trans was for women. Especially trans women, but women! who hated the idea that a women's festival would kick out women, which is what trans women are. Women. Did I say women enough times? Anyway, back in July, before one of my friends who lives in Virginia, her name's Maria, uh, went off to Camp Trans, which I hear was way less sucky than last year, but I didn't go, sadly. Uh, I said something like, you know, I'm really tired of the garrison mentality we have, where the misogynists that have managed to worm their way into a fest, starting at the top, sadly, have managed to be able to point to trans women and say that we weren't interested in lesbian space, that we were the attackers, the barbarians at the gate, as it were. They don't get that the reason that lots of people have a problem with the cis-born cis policy, or whatever they fucking call it, I don't care. They can come back to me when they're respectful enough to put a space between trans and woman. See some of my earlier videos for that. Anyway, that this is the largest, ostensibly, all-woman festival in North America. This is where people come to meet, network, and eliminating the voices of trans women from that kind of environment will perpetuate the kind of misogyny we saw, for example, in Vancouver in 2009 from Lou's Pharmacy. It's a female assigned only pharmacy. They called themselves women born uh, women, but again, female assigned only. They serve trans men, but they wouldn't serve trans women. Uh, and how many times do we have to say to them that trans men aren't women? I, I'll never know. Anyway, until enough pressure from the lesbian community caused the policy of a pharmacy, mind you, a woman's pharmacy, to be reversed. Something so simple and so basic for women's health. I mean, it's not like, oh, I don't know, they would possibly dispense hormone replacement therapy at a place like that. It might not possibly be important to trans women's health. I'm, eh. So, instead of fighting the policy directly, I said to Maria, Let's just make them not be the biggest lesbian festival anymore. And I don't mean by reducing their numbers. I mean, let's pick a big, centrally located festival. A festival that already loves trans women. And let's fill the fucker. Everyone who can manage a week off work and a $200 bus ticket or money for gas, etc., and the much cheaper price of admission, uh, last time I checked it was $70, come on down. That festival is the Ohio Women's Festival. Uh, also known as the Ohio Lesbian Festival, they gather just outside Columbia, Ohio, or Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> they usually bring in about 1,500 women. Their website is ohiolba.org. That's O H I O L B A dot O R G. Tickets purchased in advance are $70, and this year they're struggling a little. If you can make it down there on the 9th, 10th, and 11th of September 2011 this year, you'll be doing them a big favor and showing them that you love what they do. So that would be a really good thing to do. I won't be there this year because I don't yet have a passport or a ride, and I live in northwestern Canada, and yeah, five weeks isn't enough time. But I will be there next year. I promise you that. And that's what this, is, this video is about. We need to give these women some stability for next year, these, the organizers of the Ohio Lesbian Festival. We need to let them know that they can grow. And we need more trans women to go, uh, go as well. To show people who write things like this on the Mishfest forums. The TWBH, that's Trans Women Belong Here, folks, may not uh, be all that interested in supporting Ohio, even though it's inclusive, but I feel we need to. For one, it's a great little festival. I agree. And I see no reason to let inclusive space die at our hands. Okay. Uh, if trans women... And they, of course, she writes that as one word, and she writes it without a Y, even though she'll write women when referring to cis women with a Y. So I always love that, and I've 
done videos on that before, but, you know, we'll let that little disrespectful meme just slide for a moment. And their Mishfest supporters are not interested. So if trans women and their Mishfest supporters are not interested, allow that hypocrisy to reflect on them. If we show up for Ohio and other inclusive spaces, we are affirming the justice in our position. The thing is, of course, there have been numerous people on the Mishfest boards who said they won't go to an inclusive festival because they feel not comfortable there. Um, but I digress. Anyway, the justice in their position. Their position is the invisibilization of trans women in the biggest festival in the country, biggest women's festival in the country that lasts a week, and to leave us just, you know, a weekend in the tranny auxiliary. I say no. I say we show people like her what trikes and the women who love them can do. I propose we make Ohio the biggest women's festival in North America, starting with the thousand women who are there for, for the trans inclusion in 2012. But we can't obviously just do all this at once, so what we need are volunteers. My friend Maria is talking with a group, mainly of cis allies, that heretofore focus on breaking down the exclusion policy at FEST. They're called Trans Women Belong Here. Their website is uh, all one word, transwomenbelonghere.blogspot.com. And we're going to try to get all this together with the Ohio Lesbian Festival so that we can get a Kickstarter going. Because we can't get a Kickstarter project going unless it's directly affiliated with an artistic movement. It's, I guess, perceived as political beforehand. Anyway. Uh, but all of that is in the future. Right now, girls, right now is when it's important. What we need is to get 10 women who can be free next September, who will commit right now to organizing a trip to Ohio. You'll track down rides in your area, blog, plead, cajole uh, with other women, but not exclusively trans women, uh, especially, but not exclusively trans women, to come. And you'll help Mari and I organize for next year. Send me a PM on my YouTube channel, Valerie Rayify, uh, or send it to me via my, uh, my blog, valeriekeefe.livejournal.com, or wherever you found me, uh, letting me know that you're interested in organizing. Send me an email at rayifiedvalerie, that's R-E-I-F-I-E-D-V-A-L-E-R-I-E, at gmail, G-M-A-I-L, dot com, C-O-M, letting me know that you'll help organize, that you'll help build a greater lesbian festival in Ohio than there already is. Time, I have to repeat, is of the essence. To give the organizers at Ohio a better hope that there will be a festival next year, we need 10 names that we can put in their inbox by the day after festival. That's September 12th, a month and three days. So stand up, be heard, and most importantly, let's party. Oh, and as a PS, if anyone wants to dispute that I had been discussing this idea before August 9th, let me know. Um, come on up to Edmonton. I'll give you directions. You can come over to my place. I'll introduce you to my computer's message archive, archive and some, uh, some really tasty lentil chili. Anyway, I, the reason that I wasn't mentioning this earlier, um, was people aren't really interested in planning for next year while the current year's festival is already going on. Um, and six weeks might be a little bit too soon for most people to drop everything and plan a cross-country road trip on top of, you know, Camp Trans or Fest or, you know, sitting in your backyard drinking beer in a polyester lawn chair. So yeah, uh, please get in touch. Have fun. <laughs>